Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I do this look. So basically, I've been trying to find ways to laserify my makeup routine since this whole pandemic started. Still get that natural glowy look that still looks effortless and I didn't try, you know, the whole no makeup look, but also look like I did try and the full coverage look. I've been trying to do something in between, like the middle. So first things first, I'm going to prime my face. I just like using a moisturizer to prime. This is the Laura Mercier The Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. It is so good. It's literally a moisturizer and a primer, like, in one, but it just feels so nice on the skin. It just feels... Oh guys it feels so lavish so while i let that sit in because i don't like going straight into like makeup products right when i've just applied primer i feel as if it just starts to fight each other i like the primer to kind of set while i'm letting it set i'm going to do my brows real quick so you guys know i've been using the got to be to literally laminate my brows if that makes sense no eyebrow gel holds my brows like how this holds my brows and you get way more products for your bucks so i'm going to go and literally push on my brows like this Just like that you guys see how flat that's laying Ugh, love it love it love it I'm gonna do the same thing to the other brow okay guys so i literally just had to put my hair behind my ears i don't know how you guys do it like you know having the whole hair covering my face i've literally just taken a bit of concealer onto the back of my hands i've got my eyebrow brush that i like to use to define my um eyebrows and i'm just going to use this on the bottom half of my brows not the top just the bottom exactly what i just did here i'm going to do that again onto the other brow all right guys so i'm now going to go into the base this is the elf camel cc cream color correcting full coverage natural finish broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen foundations with sunscreen really don't really do that much for me i just apply sunscreen prior to my makeup i feel like that just makes the most sense because you can't technically apply enough for you to get this like protection unless you apply like a lot and that's just not what you're trying to go for so just always use a moisturizer that has spf in it or spf itself to make sure you have that spf and some protection in look okay all right just a little tip so what i'm going to do with this is literally just apply this on my upper lip my hair which is um my chin <laughs> my chin and my under eyes that's it so literally going to show you guys how i do that now i'm going to take one pump just like that put underneath my eye put underneath my eye here and here if i rub it in you know what this low here was a lot it was Just like that i'm now going to go in with a little foundation brush and then just kind of like blend it out towards on the edges if that makes sense just so there's no harsh lines i don't really take it down like all here i'm now going to go in with a foundation stick that's a bit too dark that i technically use as a contour and then i'm going to use this all around here on my nose and then just like that blend that out with this brush as well Again, guys, this is a really quick look. So if it looks like I'm rushing, it's because I am. That's literally what I'm normally doing when I'm doing this look. I'm literally rushing and I've got places to go. Because I just want my under eyes to pop just a little bit, I'm just going to go in with the tiniest dot of this concealer right here. So all I'm just going to do, one dot, guys, literally one dot. Look, one. And then one here. And then one there literally one two three four all right so then i'm gonna go in with my brush i really really love this brush it's a highlighting brush so it is meant to be used as a highlighter but the tip just makes it so much like more easier to blend out concealer especially next to your eye so if you have any brush like this like a highlighting brush and they say that yeah use a fine highlighter and you don't really like how it applies consider using it as an actual concealer brush especially underneath your eyes because it literally gives you the precision that some brushes just do not a lot of brushes sometimes can be a bit rounded off which just doesn't it just doesn't do what we need it to do so as i said i've literally just applied it here 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 this is literally enough and this is why that's elf cc cream is literally amazeballs because of the fact that it's still cc cream it gives you that natural look but it literally gives you coverage color correction i don't i didn't need to do anything so my under eyes literally look covered it doesn't look dark you can't see that halo -ness. it looks good and that's why i don't mind it being a bit lighter because technically i can apply it to everywhere that you know my highlights of my face which is what i did and i literally can get the same effect as if i just applied concealer and then just go in with a foundation stick or foundation my color underneath here and then bam i look like i've contoured and highlighted so now i'm just going to blend this out And when doing these types of looks, I really, really, really enjoy using brushes instead of actually using sponges because I feel as if it just gives me that look much faster. With sponges, sometimes it just takes a bit more 
I don't know what the word is, oh, precision. I feel as if using brushes sometimes just, you need a bit more steadiness, a bit more precision, a bit more time on your hands. Brushes, literally, just think of your face as a blank canvas and just paint away. And yeah. All right guys, so can you guys see what the concealer did? And did you see how light of an amount of concealer I used? And it gave me this look, guys, come on. I didn't even need to apply that much. Literally one dot. You guys saw it, you guys saw it. The proof is really in the face, okay? So now I'm gonna go straight into using a bit of powder. This is the Laura Mercier Honey Powder. Love this powder. Again, I'm so happy they released it, even though it took them years to release a color like this. I don't know why they didn't jump on board years ago. Pick up some product. So I've picked up some of the powder right here. Tap it off. Tap it off and go right in. Voila. Again, this is a fast look. We don't have time for baking, okay? This is a tap and press motion. Tap and press that in. We get the same look, the same results in not even half the time, a quarter of the time, okay? Then my top lip my chin, my smile line, my nose, along the bridge, my forehead. Okay, so I've really moved away from powder blushes and cream blushes, sorry, they're just that girl, okay. So this is the Nude Stick, Nudies Bloom All Over Dewy Color Blush. Um, it's not a blush, but you can literally use it anywhere, but I just use it for blush and like a bit on my lips sometimes. And guys, it's so amazing, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it's like the best color ever for me. So what I do is I take this, what I'm gonna do first is literally just use this. I go like that and just coat a really nice amount onto it and then I'm just going to apply it. Look at that! So when I do this, I don't even need to apply any like highlighter because it gives me that glow. I like to apply it here and here. So using a cream blush makes your blush stay longer i don't know if you guys have ever experienced it but just using a powder blush i don't know why but the blushes be running away the blushes really be running away by like literally by the time you're outside the blush is gone it's just vanished so what i've really been enjoying is literally just using a cream blush instead so i'm literally just using the same brush i used to blend out the whole foundation to just tap that in okay guys just like that and i'm just gonna lightly just tap any powder i had on top of it yeah, so literally just like this guys, I'm now going to contour my face, but I don't even need to do it with like precision. I'm gonna take my used and abused Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution powder and use this fluffy brush. Literally just use it, tap it in, tap away some excess and just do this. This bit is really quick for me. I always say using an angled brush to contour your nose is literally the best thing ever. Like, we're late, okay? If you're like me, it means we're late somewhere. So using an angled brush just contours your nose in like two seconds. Look at this that side that side bring it towards the eye now i'm going to use this this is the nudies all over face color in the color brown sugar so it looks like this and what i'm going to do is just use my finger like that just right there just like that literally just on the top of my nose i think it just looks so cute yeah and i'm going to apply some on the bridge And that's it. Okay, so now guys, all I'm gonna do is just touch up my brows a bit with my brow micro filling pen by Benefit. Looks like this. Love this so much. It literally just gives you the brow strokes type of look. Yeah, love that, love that. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. So whatever's on the brush, I'm just gonna use it to just kind of like erase some of the little brow mishaps I just had. I'm not going in with any new product. Just using whatever's on the brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, is just line my lips. I'm gonna use this pencil right here. This is the Appeal Gel Liner. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna kind of blend it out of it. I'm using this color. This is a magnetic lip plush paint by Nude Stick. I'm not gonna go in with this. This is literally my new fab lip gloss. I love the pink of it. It just looks so good. It plumps my lips. It does everything it needs to do. Okay, so this is the Nude Stick lip glaze and this is in the color Nude 4. I'm gonna go use 
like this. Spray my face. All right, guys, so now it's literally, yeah, the look is literally done. I think all I need to do is my eyes. Um, so I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. And guys, it really is telescopic. First of all, look how small the, like, bristles are. When I tell you, they make your lashes look crazy good. Well, I used it by accident because I couldn't find no mascara that was around. And baby, I ain't turned back since. This is a mascara and a half. And because it's from L'Oreal, I know it's affordable and you can find it in the drugstore. This is good. You can't tell me you can't see a difference. You can't tell me that. You, you actually cannot. Okay, guys, so literally, this is the look complete. I love how easy this is to do, and I really love the effect it gives me. And most of the products I used are so affordable, and I'm really happy about that. So, yay. <laughs> so, um, I'm literally going to put some clothes on, you know, because I'm in my little gold robe, and then I'll be back to just close this look off. Okay, guys, so this is the look completed. I'm going to come in just so you guys can see, like, you know, some skin action. But this is what this skin is given. And I think it's literally like the bank on middle between full coverage and you know the no makeup look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's one. If you did give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you comment down below. Give me any suggestions of videos that you guys want to see. I'm open for suggestions and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye friends.